Kimberly Lauren, Dr. Kim Live for Literary Glattery Eaters. This month I wanted to talk about a book that I read, I actually just finished last month, Paper Girl of Paris. It was about um, a lot of different people and it was interesting because it was a combination of excerpts from a journal, it's almost like a memoir of sorts, but it kept going back in time and then it was excerpts of other people's journals, so it wasn't just in the present sense a girl whose grandmother had died and she left her her apartment in Paris left these excerpts from these journals of the past so it takes you back in history like a time machine of the things that were happening at that time and a sister of hers that she didn't know about and Nazi Germany and how um, they had invaded France Paris um, and some even formed alliances with them likely out of fear um, but then it kept coming back to the present tense where this girl who was visiting Paris again with her parents, um, her mother suffered from depression, bouts of that even before her grandmother's death. Um, and they were in the apartment and they wanted to sell the apartment, but the apartment was left to her by her grandmother. So she's doing a bit of investigative work, trying to figure out more about her grandmother and why she would have left her the apartment that was preserved all these years and untouched. Um, and almost seemed as though she left this journal for her to find out all these other layers. So it was an interesting book. Um, I it was able to hold my attention because it was kind of all over the place with coming back to the present and then back in time. And like I said, it read like her own journal entries of her own experiences, but then her finding these excerpts from her grandmother's journal about a sister. So that would have been her great aunt that she never knew. So that's not a book I wrote, but it's a book I've read um, and have just finished. All right. Thank you.